Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and this is Rappler.com's coverage of the 2014 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, brought to you by SmartPro and Beyond the Box. We're here at the um, LG booth, and uh, this is something behind me. This is Shiraz, by the way. Hi, Shiraz. Hi, and uh, this is something that's been in the news recently. Uh, LG's new smart TV is running a new operating system. Uh, a couple of years back, um, LG bought this um, particular technology called WebOS from uh, HP, and now they've come up with um, a version of it for their TV. So uh, Shiraz is going to show us um, how it works. So, okay, get me to, so I'm watching TV right now, right? Yeah, you press the home key, okay. and the launcher comes up. This is your, for all intents and purposes, your menu system. We, we stripped it down from uh, having too advanced of a menu. Not many pages, not many buttons. Very simple, but still very powerful. Right. Um, now, if you look at these um, cards, um, if you're familiar with Web OS, um, it had a card interface. So they're bringing back a little bit of that card interface here with their um, Web OS based smart TVs. Okay. So um, these, what are these? Are these apps? Yeah, all of these are apps. Basically, anything you put into this TV becomes an app. So, for example, if I hooked up a Blu-ray player to it, it would come up as an app right here, and I would be able to select it. Right, so all the devices that I connect um, will show up as apps. Yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, and uh, I see there's like Twitter and USA Today. Can I, are these the only apps that are available? No, definitely not. We have uh, over here the most popular apps that you pick yourself that you want on the main screen. Right. If you go to the right over here, these are the rest of the apps that you have. So let's say I don't want Hulu anymore up there, I want Amazon Prime. I would just drag it, put it to the top, and it will be over here. And, and you add that to your start. Yeah. And it's over there, Amazon is over there. And um, are these right now, do, can I download more apps? Yes, of course. You can go to the LG store, right. and we already have a ton of apps. Uh, movies, TV shows, and more is being developed. It's open source. Okay, so this is um, I I understand. So I'm watching TV. What's happening to my TV in the background? Um, um, and then my apps. Do I have apps in the? Can I? So, so while you're doing this, you can bring the launcher up at any point, and all your apps are back here, the recent apps. So I can still go back to my Pandora that I had running, or I can go back to my LG Store that I had running. All the apps stay open without any lagging issues at all. There's right. Can you show us Netflix? Um, earlier I, I I saw you were playing with. Netflix. Yeah, sure. Netflix is just right here. We'll start it up. It was already running in the back, actually. Right. So this the whole time we were doing this, it was on. So and even in Netflix, I could bring up the launcher and continue browsing and getting new content. I know we're not allowed to to touch this this remote, but it's almost like a Wii. Could you show them the remote? Uh, it's almost like a Wii-based controller. So you basically use that, and you have like a um, stylus. Uh, of sorts um, on the screen. How does it feel to use that? It feels great. It's very accurate. It's like an extension of my arm. Right, right. And um, I understand uh, LG with the new uh, Web OS, they're trying to make it look a little bit more fun, yeah. less complicated. Um, uh, can you talk about that? Yeah, so we make it less complicated by giving you options like today. This is an app that recommends content to you very quickly without any hassle. You don't have to spend a lot of time browsing it. So this will go to the LG store and find some of the most popular content and give it to you five at a time. If you don't like what you see here, you simply scroll to the clicker and it will give you five more. Right. So this is easy, quick way to find content. So let's say I want to watch something, I go to play, and it gives me the options where I can purchase it. Right, so, okay, so it's not necessarily from the LG store. I can buy it from, get it, rent it from Netflix or Vudu. Awesome. Okay, awesome. Well, that, that's, uh, in brief, uh, a quick look at the new WebOS-based smart TVs. Are these available today? Um, when will we see them? When can we buy them? Um, the date hasn't been decided yet, but it should be around March. Okay, so first quarter of uh, 2014 for the uh, TVs that run the new WebOS from LG. If you're in the Philippines and you're looking for a mobile broadband uh, subscription, why not check out the plans at Smart Bro? You can visit their website at smart.com.ph slash bro. And if you're looking for a new gadget, why not check out my favorite gadget store? It's Beyond the Box. You can look for them on Facebook at facebook.com slash beyondthebox.ph. From here at the CES show floor, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.